Well, G'day, we're doing a quick shoot here in Palm Springs. Uh, a few things I wanted to point out to you, things that might help in your photo shoot experience. Uh, I'm using a A6300, uh, an older uh, crop sensor, APS-C camera, flash trigger. This is a little tiny AD200 with a little tiny 17-inch umbrella, totally portable, but that's not what, this, what I wanted to tell you about. Two things, uh, one is the hair light is back here. This is another AD200 that's up on a 10-foot pole, which you don't see. That's going to light up her from the behind. But the real thing that I wanted to bring up was this one. mirror here. She's been driving me nuts about this. Now, you saw this mirror in the video we were on the beach in the Seychelles to cast sunlight on my face from way far away. It's a super bright spotlight to light up my face as a reflector. But she needed a mirror to look at herself while she's posing. She likes to see herself. You know how women like to look at themselves in the mirror and it helps them pose? Well, I'm using the same thing for her to see herself in the mirror. I like to look at my hair. That's the thing. My hair well, is always, uh, not necessarily myself, but it helps. It does yeah. help. Well, it's also your posing and stuff. Oh, so you sure. Get, I so, guess. So, you, you, you know, I have a little ball head on the back here so you can adjust it to so she can see herself. So that really helps the model. And uh, it's just a piece of plexiglass with a ball head glued onto the back of it. So we're gonna take some basic pictures, a little tiny AD200, little tiny umbrella, not a big giant softbox, and it's just to fill in some shadows on her and then a hair light in the back. So here we go. Okay, here we go. Nice. The lens is a Sigma 56 1.4. Nice. That's good right there, that's what I want. All this stuff is in shadow, so it's a cooler light. These uh, strobes are daylight, so that's gonna warm it up a bit. So she's gonna be warmer than the background. Um, so I always try to make sure her face is in. So this is all in shade, and then a hair light's gonna make her pop here. It's kind of a general thing I always do when I shoot. See that nice edge light on her there? Really helps her pop out from the background. Yeah, like that, perfect. Nice. There you go. So there you got some shots, real basic little older, smaller camera, smaller, older flash. You don't need big cameras and big flashes to take good pictures. And you don't even need big soft boxes. I mean, look at this little tiny thing. It's so cute. Yeah, this is, this is just no a- No bigger than my compact. <laughs> anyway, so, hope this inspired you. We like to travel light when I travel. Small, lightweight things. Here, hold this for a second. Okay. And my mirror is really good for uh, making sure that I'm not in the light, in the sun. So that also is yeah. another plus. So check this out. This is the, the little flash that I, the little strobe that I use. <clears throat> this thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know. What, is this, what is this, the QVC network? Look how small this thing becomes. This is my... Uh, Little softbox, so this doesn't take a lot of space, and this is this is my strobe. So, oh, soft, I can't wait to see the pictures. Strobe. With, I think I think you'll like them. They turn okay. out pretty good. So. With using such little equipment, little cameras, little lights, little softboxes. Wow. Well, I hope this inspired you to get out there and take pictures. Yeah, <laughs> capture some of the great moments of your life. All right. See you next week. I was just saying what Marcus always says. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. -bye.